This week in the Mount Sinai Spotlight, kidney health and one surgeon's innovative techniques, plus a new drug to treat angioedema, a chronic swelling disorder that can be life-threatening. Hereditary angioedema is an autosomal dominant disease and patients often present with swelling and the swelling is usually in certain parts of the body, it can be the face, airways, which is potentially life-threatening, hands, feet, and abdomen, and the swelling can be also very significant in that a face, the patient almost is unrecognizable, so it's really significant. The thing that patients are excited about with the new medication is that it's given every other week, and it's subcutaneous as opposed to intravenous, so very much different, um, easier for patients potentially to use. In the patients who received placebo, 27% of the patients had no attacks of HAE. We then compared that to the patients who received active medication. Medication. The 300 milligram had 100% attack free days during this time period of 8 to 50 days. And those patients in the 400 milligram group had 82% attack free days. So, again, showing compared to placebo, there was significant uh, decrease in the number of days that the patients had attacks. Kidney cancer is a top six or seven cancer in both men and women and the incidence of that is rising. So high blood pressure, diabetes, cholesterol, smoking, age, all of these things can be detrimental to kidney function. And then once you lose your kidney function, then your body can't filter blood and you would have to do dialysis. You'd have to have an automated system do that for you. We have a lot of innovative things we're doing in our program. Probably the most important trial that we're actively enrolling patients for right now is using amniotic cells, stem cells from the placenta of donating mothers and seeing if we can actually regenerate kidney tissue after we've removed part of the kidney. So in patients who have already kid existing kidney problems, uh, they're not going to be at risk for dialysis in the same way. The other really interesting study that we're doing in our program is we're actually taking blood and urine and tumor cells from the patient's kidney uh, when we're treating it during surgery and we're able to do studies where we can see who's going to potentially go into kidney failure in the future.